Hello folks, well today's video is a segment that I haven't done in quite a while that I like to call, Should You Own It? This video is where I suggest a tool or product that I think would be valuable for you to have in your shop to do woodworking. And this comes from my opinion based on 21 years of being in the trades and as a furniture maker. And today's subject is angle finders. I'm going to break down each one of these and give you the pros and cons to them. Okay, so let's get started. All right, the first angle finder we're going to look at is the classic bevel. Now this is what I started off with out in the trades and it's perfect for when I was doing trim. I can set this to whatever I angle I want for my base, my crown molding, or what have you. Now the bevel, what's great about it is it's very cheap. You can get these at garage sales and flea markets and typically get one under five bucks. Now whether you buy a used one or a new one, what's important is you get one that has a locking nut that really holds this tight. The last thing you want to do is set this and then as you're moving it to get your reading, you accidentally bump it and lose that setting. Now, you'll notice that there are no numbers on this anywhere, no scale. And what that means is you need to have a protractor. And what you would do then is you set your protractor on here, and I'm going from the center point to here, and I'm reading it out at the end. So this is a little bit slower in using than the other two. And also, too, you can see that this slightly can be inaccurate just based on where you have your protractor reading. So after using this for about five or six years, I decided I wanted something more accurate. And I decided to put some money down and buy the Starrett Angle Finder. Now about 12 or 15 years ago when I bought this, uh, it was about 45 or $50. I'm sure it's not that anymore. But let's take a look at some of the features of this one. So what I liked about the Starrett Angle Finder right away was the fact that it was nice and big and it's beefy out of some aluminum here. Also too, the scale on this is very accurate. And you have two scale readings on here. You have the, the black scale, which is the single cut. This will tell you exactly what your angle is. It also then has the red scale, which is the miter cut. So if I wanted to cut that in half, essentially it's just dividing it. Now the single cut scale goes in increments of two degrees. And the miter cut scale goes in increments of one degree. Now, some disadvantages to it. Well, this scale is basically just a sticker. And if you are to scratch this sticker at all, you've essentially just wasted this whole tool. The other thing is, you'll no notice there's no lock on this anywhere. So it is pretty easy to bump it and lose your reading. The other thing too is that the single cut scale, as I said, goes in increments of two degrees. So you have to have some pretty good eyes to, to be able to see that and split it in half, which is another disadvantage for me. As I'm getting older, I'm finding my vision is starting to blur some, and it's harder to read. Probably the biggest disappointment about this is now the price today. I looked online and this goes anywhere from 75 to 100 bucks. It is a good tool, but it's a little bit pricier than I want to spend. So with my eyesight getting to the point where I'm squinting to read this, I decided that I'm going to leave the Timex world and enter the digital age. So I got online and I went over there to mcfeelys.com and I took a look to see what they had for some angle finders and I found this one by Trend. So let me show you the features of this. All right, so the first thing that you can see about this, it has a nice big LED screen here, and it will give you the angle reading all the way down to the tenth of it. So it's quite accurate. Uh, what's nice about it too is anywhere 
as I'm using this, I can zero it out and set, set it over again, which has proven to be in some situations trying to find a specific angle, very helpful to be able to do that. It also does have uh, what they call a locking nut on it, and it has a ruler scale that is both metric and imperial. Probably the best thing about this is it only costs $32, a far better choice price-wise than the Starrett, and more accurate than the bevel. Now, in all honesty, there's a few things that I was disappointed with. And when I first took it out of the package, I was kind of disappointed in the thickness of the gauge of the metal. I would have preferred it a little bit heavy duty, but it's okay. In the few months I've been using it, it hasn't proven to be any kind of a problem. The other thing too is what they're calling their lock nut. Well, it doesn't really lock it down tight to where it won't move. At best, it just puts some resistance on it. So I do have to be careful when I'm moving it around to not lose my reading on it. Another thing too is it only gives the actual single cut or the actual angle. Unlike the Starrett, which would give me the other scale reading for the miter cut, but that's not a big deal because you just take your number and divide it in half. The ruler that's on it, well, <laughs> the ruler in my opinion, it's, it's nice, but it, I'll never use it. I'm gonna actually trust my actual ruler or tape measure more than this. And the actual LED screen, well, it covers up the first inch and a half of the ruler anyways. So now you're you know, like around five inches or so that you could use. Lastly is it's nice that the package comes with the battery, but if this battery ever dies, well, then I'm right back to using my bevel because it's going to be utterly useless. But a nice feature that keeps the battery from dying is after six minutes of not using it, if I forget to turn it off, it automatically shuts off by itself. So anyone who's watched my show for a long time knows I love my tools and I hate change. But when it comes to reaching for an angle finder, I find I'm reaching for this one more and more. Now, the good folks over at McFeely's, they're making a special offer to you. If you go on their website and make a purchase of $50 or more, they'll throw this in for just 10 bucks when you use the promotional code below. Now, you got plenty of time. The offer runs out July 1st of this year. So that means in the meantime, you can make a shopping list of things that you need. Maybe you need to stock up on screws, glue, you can always have more clamps. You can even buy saw blades there. And in fact, McFeely's has been letting me play with the new track saw by Craig. And in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be comparing this track saw against my Festool track saw and giving you the pros and cons of both. So check that out in a future video. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I definitely believe that an angle finder of any sort is a tool that's vital for your shop that's going to help improve your workmanship. As always, I thank you for watching, and if you're interested in more woodworking tips, advice, and knowledge, you can always subscribe to the free newsletter at the link below. Because after all, my whole goal is to make you a better woodworker. Until next time, keep on dancing.